We've always defined ourselves by the ability to overcome the impossible. And we count these moments. He's the tallest man in European These moments when we dared to aim higher, to break barriers, to reach for the stars, to make the unknown known. We count these moments as our proudest achievements. But we have to win the Champions League to be recognized, a team like deserves to be recognized, so we have to admit it. But we lost all that. And perhaps we've just forgotten that we are still pioneers, that we've barely begun and that our greatest accomplishments cannot be behind us. Because our destiny lies above us. We tried last season, we tried two seasons ago, we tried three seasons ago, every single season, but that is my, my dream in a Champions League competition. And we want to try like we tried all the time, but that doesn't mean it's going to win, no. Manchester City setting off on another Champions League journey, wondering if this is the year. What awaits them here? Foden, lovely ball, De Bruyne, and there he is again, Erling Haaland! Cancelo, Foden again, working onto that left foot. There's the shot, and there's the goal. 2-0, Manchester City. Foden again. Could be another chance here. Haaland, he's going to score again, you know. Two for him, three for Manchester City. Manchester City, we have a great nucleus that we have here. We want to preserve this nucleus. But at the same time, we want to go to the next level, uh, to win the Premier League, compete and win the Champions League Cup competitions uh, in England. So here are the teams and the face of concentration of Erling Haaland. Cleared as far as Marco Royce, it's deflected in here, it's Jude Bellingham. Stones for Manchester City, oh yes! What a ball that is by Cancelo! We play in a, a wrong gear today, our game, no aggression. And the moment we change the rhythm, we do so, oh, what do you zero down? And the rhythm from Phil, from Bernardo and Julian, uh, we change a little bit our pace and, and we knew it. We were not good enough today. So many times you just say, uh, you know, you kind of just look yourself in the mirror and say, well, you know, what are you going to do about it? You're only human and humans make mistakes, you know, but it's the ones that learn from their mistakes and, and come back. This is for league goals the last two seasons in Spain. It's over towards him now and the header is brilliant. 
Alvarez, oh, good ball. Oh, what a finish! And what a story! Oh, that's a good ball. And sitting here in here. Oh, what a finish, too! It's it off him, and he's got Mares to his right. This is Mares! And that's three! And selfish play to set up. rising power in German soccer, RB Leipzig. And they welcome one of the competition's perennial favorites, English champions, Manchester City. Mahrez! Ah! It's in the back of the net! Riyad Mahrez! Punishing Leipzig! RB Leipzig have not been biting. They haven't been putting pressure high. They haven't been themselves. So City go one ahead, they comfortable. It's down to RB Leipzig to change matters. From a long way out, stings the gloves of Ederson. Good save. Good delivery. It's knocked down. It's equalized. Vardiol. It is a penalty. Henriks' arm was out, stuck straight. No mistake again. Harlan strikes. Trying to add to his screen. Oh, the other side of the bar. And he's 2 0. It's Harlan again. Wenn nicht sogar vielleicht ein Moment der beste Stürmer der Welt. Manchester City, surely on their way to the last eight. Curled in. Wir hatten für, für ein, zwei Jahre keine, keine klassische Neun. City threatening again. Gundogan turning, twisting, shooting, scoring for Manchester City. Sublime running away with this. The starting lineup, they're coming on. Bernardo Silva with the header, Haaland! And then the Kanji and Haaland again! He's got a ganz andere Qualität mit um, seiner physischen Stärke, seiner Mentalität, mit seiner Schnelligkeit und natürlich auch am Ende des Tages mit seinen Toren. Seasonal scoring record, number 38. There's Mahrez again. He's got a long way to go. He's got five. Haaland again. He's got now. This is incredible. It's the Erling Haaland show. And he's not stopped yet. Here's De Bruyne. There's the shot. And there's the goal. He deserves. There is no tougher task in European football at the moment than playing at Manchester City. We would have wished for a little bit more time together to prepare and to get uh, to know each other a bit better. But it's a big challenge also for me to, to find the right approach against City, against Pep. But we're up for it. teams in the world who are about to go head to head the champions of England against the champions of Germany for a place in the semi-finals the pocket there for Rodri skips away from Carlos lost out to Grealish, but it goes to Haaland, promising for City, pulls across to Bernardo, Schuller! 2-0! Alvarez, the target is Stones, Haaland! Dreamland in the Champions League for Manchester City! And that's one of Manchester City's great nights in Europe. Well, what a place. What a stadium, and what a situation we have. Two fantastic sides who scored plenty of goals in Manchester City, who were magnificent in the first leg of the Etihad. Oh, he's put it over the door! Now De Bruyne. Up on Mikano's fallen over. Oh, it's in, scores! Darren, you can see here again, the arm oh. is away from the body and under the left side from the 
and Kimmich scores. Manchester City are into the semi-finals of the Champions League for the fifth time. And I think all the clubs around the world had the feeling that if you want to win this competition, you have to beat Real Madrid right now. Before it was Barcelona, now it's Real Madrid. So we have the greatest winning machine in European club football against the mercurial Pep Guardiola and his precision engineer team. 14 and counting versus a burning desire to hold the trophy and sit at the head of Europe's top table. It's a game that has it all and we get the chance to enjoy it twice. So off we go, Real Madrid against Manchester City. It's a night where fantasy football becomes Champions League reality. Lovely touch by Modric. There's Camavinga. Vinicius Junior. Shoots! Oh my word! Bernardo Silva, lovely first time ball onto Kevin De Bruyne. He's in here for Manchester City. Good save by Courtois. Really strong hand. Grealish. Good to one. Kevin De Bruyne! One of Manchester City's biggest players with one of the biggest goals of the season. All about the power and the accuracy from Kevin De Bruyne, and it's one all in the Bernabeu. City's high line, Tony Kroos lifts it in, it's a good ball, it's a great save by Anderson to deny Benzema. Well, there's the full-time whistle tonight, half-time in the tie. Thoroughly enjoyable first leg in the Bernabeu that was lit up by two outstanding goals. Real Madrid won, Manchester City won. So here we go then, part two of the Dream semi-final. History chasing Manchester City against the 14-time European champions, Real Madrid. The players out into a colourful cauldron of noise. It's a season-defining night for everyone down there. City or Madrid, England or Spain, perfection or precision. It's the very best the game of football has to offer. Sit back and enjoy it. Akanji. Grealish. Lifted into Holland! It's more than a stop! Courtois! And then David Alaba with a clearance. How on earth was that? Good delivery towards the far side of the Kanji. Oh, and oh, what a save! What a save! That is absolutely world class from Courtois. Here's Walker, and now De Bruyne, and they're toying with the Bernardo Silva. Yeah! You don't save that one! Kroos with a lot of power, Tony Kroos rattles the crossbar. First half, Jack Grealish for Manchester City. Gundogan stepping in. There's the chance. Oh, it's two! It's two! And it's Bernardo Silva again! <laughs> Manchester City can see his name. Oliver does hit one. Oh, he's had to save it. What a hit. And what a save from Edison. Kick taken by De Bruyne, oh, it's gone in! It's an own goal, is it? Or did a Kenji get the last touch? It's about Fletch, 3 0. As Charlie and Lescott says, it doesn't matter because that must be the moment to take Manchester City to Istanbul. And Emily Tao couldn't keep it out. And that's it. Manchester City have done it, and the blue moon shines brighter than ever. deporte no se fracasa, se intenta, en la vida del deporte se intenta. Si tú fracasas y el otro, el otro no puede llegar a jugar bien y hacerlo bien. Y en la victoria, celebrar lo justo en la intimidad. Y en la derrota, 
llorarlo un poquito y al día siguiente volver. Eso es el deporte. No se fracasa. Cuando se intenta, no se fracasa nunca. find out whether the dream comes true for Manchester City here in this incredible setting, the Ataturk Stadium, just on the edge of Istanbul. What a thrilling, remarkable season they've had so far. For so many years, Manchester City fans have covered this trophy. from Chalanoglu and then Dumfries was challenging, Lukaku's in there, Di Marco there as well, oh, it's in the ball, Di Marco hits Lukaku I think, still not clear, it will be now. It does not Lukaku. How on earth did they not equalise Inter? An astonishing passage of play. Incredible. Inter now have to find a different way to play because they can't just sit back now. Can't sit back. They Here's Martinez, yes they are, Lukaku. Lukaku shoots straight at Edison. And that's a big sigh of relief from behind Anana's goal. There's Phil Foden on the move. Phil Foden save! Well, that's a vital save for Anana, but what an opportunity for Foden. The initial little burst and the bit of skill to get him away was outstanding. Four wait for the cross in the middle, it'll come now from Gersens, it's a deep one, it's too deep for everybody. Kept alive here by Bellanova. 
Still they wait in the middle. Brozovic flicks it in. Gerson's coming in, gets it. Oh, what a save! save goal. What a save! Oh, oh, That's an unbelievable save from Emerson. An amazing moment for the Manchester City goalkeeper. Has that moment just secured the Champions League? I don't even know he knew he saved it. I think he just bounced off his leg. Free kick taken by Federico Di Marco and headed away there by Diaz. There's the shot off the outside of the foot from Barella and why everybody forward for Inter. Barella, now Bellanova, that's deflected behind, they'll have to defend the corner, there is going to be one more chance, is there? The goal he yes, there is. Di Marco delivers, Close to oh! the save Emerson! I think it was Robin Gersens, it's a brilliant save again! Yes! journey it's been a process and it leads to this and this oh, is so special it's so hard to sum up Fletch fortunate enough to win things and when you win things with players it creates a bond that is for forever and this group of players will be connected for the rest of their lives